Today is super exciting because this is the last bit of major framing on the whole build. We've finished framing out the bottom half of this glass end wall and today I'm starting the framing on the, the top half and the, the last of it, which is great. We've ordered uh, windows for the, for the back end wall and so things are really kind of coming together to, uh, to get a nice dry cabin to have for the summer. When we framed the bottom part, it was really hard, like you might have seen in that video, to get it square. I ended up screwing on a bunch of uh, uh, OSB sheets to hold it square and to kind of slowly work it. And so I'm trying a slightly different approach here by basically framing directly into the, the sidewalls rather than doing it laying down. And so I'm using the, the laser here to, to get a really nice line leveled out for where the the beams are going to be. There's going to be three levels of beams. Uh, they'll cross two by four. You see here is just a, so I don't fall out and die. Uh, you should make a terrible YouTube video. Let's get to it. So with this first portion of the beam, which will be made up of another 2x4 and a spacer, we need to find the center of it so that everything looks nice and straight from the outside. And I'm doing that by hanging this plumb bob all the way down. Uh, as you can tell, it's catching a little bit on the thing below it. so. I have to be extra careful. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, it's super square. You looked at the at the at the video for the for the bottom part. Uh, these beams, I was laying them up uh, two two by stick plus a half inch sheet of OSB or whatever. Um, two reasons. One of them is to make them stronger, um, so they're basically doubled up headers. Um, they're not, you know, load bearing in the sense of like they're not carrying walls or anything. Uh, but it's more than just like I said in the other video. It's more than just uh, holding up a single window since there's multiple windows on top of each other. Uh, I want it to be nice and sturdy. Uh, but there's another reason, and the other reason is that um, there's a collar beam uh, built into the structural framing, and uh, that collar beam is a, is a three and a half inches uh, wide, right? So two by, a two by four. So I want these other beams that are gonna be visible along with that collar beam from the outside uh, to be the same thickness, so that it has a, a consistent kind of uh, consistent profile. We were in the hardware store the other day and picked up like a pound of construction screws and I'd forgotten that they still sell Phillips screws um, or Phillips head screws and forgot to check and it's been probably a few years since I've actually used these, because you know everything is Torx screws now, and it's crazy how bad they are. They're absolutely horrific compared to the Torx screws, and as far as I know, there's no price difference. So if you ever buy screws, uh, make sure you're not getting Phillips head screws. Two hot takes on rotary lasers. One, the department that makes rotary lasers at Johnson Company must be completely separate from the department that makes their levels because their levels are pretty good, but this rotary laser is total garbage. I've had it for about a year and none of the buttons work anymore. You click on the buttons, nothing happens. It's just stuck in this mode now. This is all it does. Uh, and the tripod is total junk. You can get something better in a toy store. Hot take number two, though, is that rotary lasers are fantastic. It's crazy how useful it is to just be able to throw a flat plane uh, for all kinds of stuff. And so for laying out these beams, I'm really happy with using the rotary laser for it.
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave a comment if there's anything that you're curious about or think is weird. Um, I'll post a follow-up video once I have the window units to start putting this together. And hopefully it comes out looking great. We'll find out. See you next time.